Hey there, everybody. We are up in the front garden area. We're looking at my, my little rock wall where I'm just adding a few little stones here and there to kind of bring a little bit more protection to the substrate we've crammed into some of the crannies and to amplify the warmer microclimate of the rock wall by giving them additional thermal mass on other sides of their root masses. But today, we're, uh, we're going to talk about marketing. And for those of you who are not running small businesses or small nurseries, uh, but are instead engaged in community works or community building projects, uh, I hope this has something for you too, so please stick around. Uh, there's a common theme in the emails I receive almost constantly telling me that I need to be leveraging negative emotions of consumers using fear, doubt, uncertainty, good old FUD strategies. Um, to convince people to help me move product. And that sort of approach is really not what we're going for. This is entirely a hopeful project. Uh, and I, I really hope that we're able to inspire folks to do positive things, but a while back when I was still formally in school, um, I had a teacher who told me that everything we do is marketing, and at the time I was like, yeah, I guess, I guess, um, and I'm not the first person to say this, but everything is marketing. But marketing is more than just the dollars you spend on an ad. There's, how to put it, there's personal interpretations of all of the actions that you take on your projects, uh, whether it's a small nursery, or whether it's uh, a food forest or a food garden for your local library, uh, where the things that you are doing communicate to the audience that you are hoping for the engagement from. There's a sense that how you live up to promises or how you interact with anyone you interact with is a, a solid communication strategy to the types of endeavors that you are working on. And when you are honest and most comfortably yourself in those interactions. That is when you're going to have the greatest impact from what it is that you're doing. And there's this urge from people to convince others to buy things immediately or to, to not miss out on a great deal. And I want to tell you that it is okay to build your nursery or your gardening project slowly. You don't have to blanket social media with posts about how awesome things are going if things aren't going awesome. There's no reason to 
I don't think this is the right word, but I'm going to use it anyway. There's no reason to betray who you are for the sake of those dollars. You can be successful in what you are doing when you are yourself. That's, that's who people want to interact with. They want to interact with you. They want to know that they're forming a real human connection. They want to know that they're supporting a real person and not some gigantic conglomeration or company that is actively harming the planet while trying to tout how good their product is going to be to help you save the planet or whatever their their shtick is uh, I think we all I think we all notice those ad campaigns and things and have distaste for them so don't think that that's something you have to do your authenticity your interest your quirkiness your idiosyncrasies they they are what will define you and set you apart from the other people in your space in your area it's what's going to help you stand out and find your own key messaging whether that's thriftiness or whether that's reaching out to people and having seed swaps or participating at gardening events at your local library everything you do communicates to the people that you're interacting with just what you stand for and it's my firmly held belief that it's it's that particular characteristic and quality of your true authentic self that people are going to fall in love with and they're going to appreciate you for it and you're going to have the opportunities that you weren't expecting suddenly appearing for you and opening doors and you'll find those people that really truly want for you to succeed as well because they're going to invest more of themselves in that energy that you're bringing so I don't I don't go in for fear I don't go in for uncertainty I don't go in for doubt I have plenty of those things in my own heart already as someone who experiments with plants and tries things that are not always necessarily going to succeed I, I have to live with those things and while I may talk about them I, I hope to communicate it through the lens of I hope this works it would be cool if it did I hope you'll all I hope you'll all check back in with me and that genuine invitation is 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 really all the marketing I need I and you don't need to go crazy and fret about a B testing our messages I rarely play whack-a-mole with the YouTube video screenshots and cards and titles uh, because that's not what we're about we're just about presenting the information and hoping that people can benefit from it and so I'm going to encourage all of you whatever your project is bring that energy cultivate that relationship cultivate that understanding with the people that you're hoping to interact with 
and that you'll hope will tell their friends to get involved or to get engaged. And you'll be more successful than you think is possible. So I have a few more of these to do. I'm pretty happy with this. I'll, uh, I'll bring you guys over here just a sec so we can take a look at it a little up close. So hang on. So you know, we've got a little bit more coverage. We've got a little bit more support. We've got a little bit more structure for us to creep and climb, find our footing, and spread our beauty to the world. So I hope that this gets you thinking. And if, if you have thoughts or any additions, someone that you think is doing an awesome job with that, call them out. Uh, I'd love to support other folks who are approaching things in this same way. But until next time, thanks for watching. Happy planting.